what up? I'm Kelvin representing Architect Team, and today I'll be teaching you how you can make your networking cable. You know, it's very simple. Before we start, I'll be telling you about cables that we have in network. We have three main types of cable in network. We have the first one, Cat 3 cable or the Category 3 cable. Category 3 cable has the speed of 10 megabytes. So if you're pushing anything up above 10 megabytes, then your work will be very, very slow. Definitely, it won't work. So we have the second one called the Category 5 cable. Category 5 cable comes in two types. We have a Category 5 cable. And when you buy in Category 5 cable, we have the second one called the Category 5E. The Category 5E cable is better, more better than the Category 5. And Category 5 cable has the speed of about 1 gigabyte one gigabyte so if you are doing your home network i would advise you to go for the category 5e because the price difference is not that much but if it's a company you want to network for a company i would advise you to go for the category 6 cable because the category 6 cable is better it kind of prevents cross talk because there is a sheet inside category 6 cable that prevent cross talk that is it prevents interference between the cables and in category 6 cable it's better but more expensive because it has the speed of about 10 gigabytes so if you're pushing anything up high and more then category 6 cable is actually the best cable now is the best when we're talking about networking cable so when we're talking about cabling again there's another thing you would hear there is this cable, even by it in carton, you will hear, let's say, a category 5E premium. What premium does? The difference between a category 5E cable and a category 5E premium or a category 6 premium is that if you check this cable, if it's burning, it's at a toxic, it's kind of a toxic chemical that it's harmful to our health. So what they do in premium is that if you really want to pass a networking cable in a ventilation hole or over your ceiling. You know, at times, ceilings are hot, so it burns the cable. This kind of cable cannot be passed over a ventilation or over a ceiling, inside the ceiling. But a premium cable can be, and a premium cable is more expensive than an ordinary cable. So now, let's just start. To do this thing, you will need some tool to punch your what? Your networking cable. Number one, you need a cable. This is a cable. And when you're buying a cable, if you really want to know if it's a CAT3, a CAT5, or a CAT6 cable, just check the cable. As you can see this one, I'm with a CAT6 cable. And it will be written with a black text. CAT6 cable. After your cable, you will need your RJ45. This is an RJ45. RJ45. RJ45 is more is big. Don't let them get on sale because when you're talking about telephone cable, there is always something like this. Telephone one is smaller than this. Smaller than this. But this is RJ45. Now you will need this too. This is actually the mechanism that helps us to hold this RJ45 firm to the cable. And now this is what we call the crimper. The crimper, because when we put it here, it crimp the RJ45 film to the cable. And this comes with the, the crimper. When you're buying it, you see this. This actually helps when you're jacking it into the socket. But I won't be using this one, but you need it. And at times, you need a pair of scissors. For the sake of this tutorial, these are the tools I'll be using. But if you're running a networking film, or you're going to be networking a company or a whole place, Believe me, you need two more than this. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be teaching you this. I'll be using this tool. Now, if you use our crimper, what we really want to do first is to measure where we really want the cable to stop. And when we are cutting the sheet off, the blue sheet off, you must make sure it don't it won't pass this place. Check here. Because there is a mechanism here that when we crimp it, this place will hold the cable fail here. So you really don't want the blue cable to pass here. So when you're measuring it, make sure the blue cable 
does not pass that place. So you put it, you measure it, and you hold here. As you can see, when you hold here, I've given it a sign. In this our crimper, we have two blades. This is the first blade down, and this is the second blade inside. When you want to cut off a whole wire, you use this one. But when you want to trim across it, you use this one. Let me show you what I mean. Let's assume I really want to cut off a point. I'll put it at the first place and watch what happens. When I cut, when I cut, it cuts the whole cable. That is what the first blade is used for. But if I really just want to trim the blue stop without cutting the cables inside, then let me measure it again. This is where you want to kill serious because you really don't want it to pass. If it passes this place, there will be an interference from the outside to your network. And it can be very it will be very tedious for you to be able to move data out and to download data into your network. So you make sure it and now this is it. So you use the cable inside and you, you roll your cable over it. Now Bend your cable, bend your cable, look at it, as you see, when I go we use the first blade, it cut off everything inside, but this one, we just cut off the blue shade, we don't need this. Now, when we're talking about cabling, what you again you will hear is what we call the twisted pier cable. As you can see, we have the first cable, we have two cable, we have three, we have four. <laughs> Let me cut this off, be right here about cable. In network in networking category C cable has this letter inside what's this prevent is cross talk so that there is not going to be interference within the cable inside as you can see they are all in different parts divided using this stuff so you use the scissors so we won't mess up our cable you use the scissors and cut this off as you can see now what this is used for is if you want to drag down, like you just want to cut more wire, you can drag that stuff down and you cut it off based on what you see. Now, as I was saying, I was talking about twisted pier cable. If you see this, you know you will see that they are all twisted. We have four twisted piers: one twisted, two twisted, three twisted, four twisted. Now, unloose it, untwist it. If you untwist it, we'll be having eight wires because four different cable twisted if you're losing it, it will give us eight now to do this networking to do a network cable these cables must be arranged in order when i mean arranged in order it has an arrangement now watch this arrangement because that don't ever forget this arrangement when you're doing your networking cable you look for the white and orange first it comes first white and orange don't forget white and orange first then orange second when i mean white and orange it's a white cable with orange stripe over it now white and orange stripe then orange then white and green stripe white and green stripe blue as you see white and orange orange white and green blue then white and blue then green make sure you straighten it up make sure you straighten it up so the color won't scatter then you go white and brown then brown straighten it up straighten it up you just want to straighten so you you won't mix up you don't mess it up so Make sure you cross check them again. White and orange, orange. We have the white and green, blue. We have the white and blue, green. We have the white and brown and the brown. Straighten it up so you won't mix the arrangement. Now, as you can see, some of the wire are longer than others. Don't worry. Now, as I said, make sure this wire don't pass this place so that this mechanism will hold it free, will hold the blue one free. When you crimp in it. Now, look at it again, check it. So, you don't want to cut it off so that all of them will be in the same arranged. So, you put all of them, make sure you're not making a mistake with it, all of them, and you cut. 
Can you see now? They are all in the same arrangement. If they steal or not, you put all of them again and cut. While you are cutting, make sure you don't mess the arrangement up. Now, you take up your RJ45. Watch what will happen. Your RJ45. Before you push it inside, because you push it up to the spot where we you can you see the gold pin inside? It must get up to the place because the code will hold the wire free so that the, the, there can be communication from the part A to this next part of your network, like within your network. So, what you want to do again before you push it inside is to check your arrangement because without this arrangement, <laughs> your work is zero. So, you check it again. I repeat, the arrangement is white and orange, orange, white and green, blue white and blue green and white and brown brown don't ever forget can you see it is white and orange orange white and green blue white and blue green white and brown brown don't forget so you push it up make sure you push it make sure you put it up up did you notice something it's passing the place as you can see, if I crimp this thing now, there's going to be interference getting up. So I remove it. I cut the cable again. I cut the wires again to be very, very small. And it should still be in the same size. Watch. When you cut it again, you check your arrangement. Anytime you check, you do something. Check your arrangement. White and orange, orange, white and green, blue, white and blue, green, and white and brown, brown. You want to push it up again? Can you see? Just push it up. It will take its shape. Just push it up and push it up. Now, as you can see, if you wash here, you notice there's a blue film, it's up. So now there's not going to be any interference. As you can see, there's not going to be any interference getting into our cable. Make sure you push them in film. In film. The blue part must pass this place this place it must because when you're crimping this mechanism will hold it firm so now make sure you push it in order and before you crimp inside it check your arrangement white and orange orange white and green blue white and white and green blue and green white and green yeah, let me check white and orange orange white and green blue white and blue green and white and brown brown now it's not time we use our crimper this second side the second one one in the middle you put your rj45 your cable inside like this as you can see like this and you crimp you hold it down you will hear a sound a pop sound Kim. just make sure you crimp it very well do it again and again and again just to be sure, now watch. As you can see, the mechanism is now holding our cable firm. So there's no way our cable is going to lose. There's no way it's losing. You see, now we we'll make the first part of our RJ45. We'll do the same to the second part and we're good to go. The same thing, make sure when you're doing this part, the arrangement you use here is also the arrangement you're going to use here. And when you're done, believe me, you can even sell this. You can sell it out to those that don't know how to make it and you'll be making your money. I'm Steve Kelvin, representing OK Tech Tip. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you love it, comment on the box below. And if you find it helpful, share. 